Let's take a closer look at tracks in our sequence. Now each track corresponds to a instrument or device in our rack. We have the Kong selected. Let's select the Vesper, which is a Maelstrom instrument. Each track can have multiple lanes. Now notice when I select a track in my sequence, the associated device is highlighted in my rack. I'll select the Kong. There's my Kong device. I'll select the Vesper. There's my Maelstrom device. So that makes it very easy to find the associated device. At the top of the sequence is a transport track. That's where we will change time signature and tempo, which we'll talk about later in this course. Then there is a track for my first mixer. Like anything else in Reason, I can automate all the parameters of my mixer. And then below that are my other devices. Now each device has a solo and a mute button. I can solo a specific track or mute a specific track. So my drums are now muted. Let's now solo my Vesper. And my drums are soloed now. There's nothing happening on that bass track. Now whenever I have something muted, I can click the M at the very top to unmute everything. And the same works with solo. When I have anything soloed, I can click the S and everything will become unsoloed. Now I can rename any track and it will rename the associated device. So let's take this bass track and I'll rename it Funky Bass. And if we go back to our instrument rack, you'll see my subtractor. Let me move this out of the way. And there the masking tape says Funky Bass. And as you would expect, the mixer masking tape also says Funky Bass. Everything's kept in sync and updated automatically. Now I can change the track color by control clicking with my mouse or right clicking. And I can choose a color. And that's nice when you want to keep instruments of a certain type all in the same color. Like my drums might be all yellow and my brass might be all blue and so forth. So it's a nice way to keep things organized in your sequence. I can drag tracks around very easily just by selecting it and dragging it. And of course, I could shift click and drag multiple tracks at the same time. Now, it's very easy to duplicate a track just by right clicking or control clicking with my mouse and choosing duplicate track. And when I do that, I also create a new device because remember, each track is mapped to its own device in the rack. And there you see my copy of my subtractor. All the settings are the same, and all the track information has been copied. Now, as we've seen before, when I play an instrument that's in record mode, there's a little green light that shows me that that instrument is the one being played. But there's something really cool you can do if you have multiple controllers hooked up to Reason. In my case, you may remember that I have my Korg Triton keyboard, and I also have a nano pad. I'm going to control click and tell Reason to lock my nano pad to my Kong drum machine. And that means that irregardless of what track I have highlighted, the nano pad will always play the Kong drums. So there's my nano pad. Here's my keyboard. The keyboard plays whatever I have highlighted, but the nano pad always plays the drums. So the more controllers you have, the more devices you can play simultaneously in Reason.